Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Veggie Hub with VeggieCloud.com. There are three simple steps. We need to save your local network credentials to the web, figure out the IP address of your hub, and tell the hub where to post data. For this video, we'll be posting data to the cloud site VeggieCloud.com. The first step is to configure the hub with your Wi-Fi network credentials. To do this, press the Wi-Fi Setup button on the Veggie Hub. The red LED will turn on. This turns the hub into a Wi-Fi access point. Now using your phone, connect your phone to the hub Wi-Fi access point. The name of the access point will be Veggie underscore hub with some other characters as a suffix. Now bring up a browser window and enter in 192.168.1.1. You will see a green web page with the Vegetronics logo asking for the network name and passphrase of your local network. Press the refresh button to get a list of networks. Select your local Wi-Fi network and enter in the passphrase and press the connect button. You should then get a confirmation page saying connected and the red LED on the hub should turn off. Your hub can now connect to your local Wi-Fi network. Your hub is connected to your network and your router has assigned an IP address to it. The next task is to figure out the Veggie Hub's IP address. We do this by inserting a USB drive with a micro USB connector into the hub. You can use a micro USB adapter if you have an old style USB drive. Insert the drive for a few seconds and then remove it. Insert it into the computer and open up the drive folder. There should be two files on your thumb drive, log.txt and ipaddress.txt. Double click on the IP address file to open it. This file contains the IP address that the hub has been assigned. If there is no file, then most likely you've entered in the wrong password to your network. So redo the previous Wi-Fi setup step. Also, make sure that your router's firewall is not blocking the hub. Now that you have the IP address of the hub, you can configure it through any web browser using its IP address. But first, make sure that the hub's yellow LED is turned on. Highlight and copy the IP address into your web browser window to go to the hub's configuration pages. Let's take a look at the hub's setup pages. The Home tab tells you some important information such as the version of the firmware, the name of the server to which the hub is connected. It tells you whether the last update was a success and when the next update is scheduled. It also has a button to send an immediate update. You can press the button and you will see the hub's green LED turn on, indicating that a sample is being sent. This feature is useful for troubleshooting the connection between the hub and server because you can instantly send a sample and see if it shows up as data on the server. The settings tab is used to set up the sensor input channels. Here you can specify if you want to send battery voltage data to the server. If your hub has a single sensor input, the battery data will be sent back on channel 2. And if your hub has four sensor inputs, the battery data will be sent back on channel 5. You can configure each of the sensor input channels. If the input is an electronic sensor, specify the warm-up time. This value is found on the sensor's data sheet and is typically between 1 and 2 seconds. If your sensor is just a mechanical switch, like a mailbox sensor, use the edge trigger mode with a pull-up resistor. In edge trigger mode, the sensor will trigger an immediate update to the server. Set up each of the sensor input channels according to the sensor that you have installed on each channel. Click on the server tab. Here you will select the server to which your hub will post data. In this guide, we'll only discuss setup for VeggieCloud.com. To link the hub to your VeggieCloud account, you will need two pieces of information from VeggieCloud, the update URL and the API key. You can get these by logging into your account on VeggieCloud that you've previously created. Click on the hubs list and then create a hub. Enter the name and number of sensor input channels for your hub. For example, if your hub is a four channel device and you are also sending battery info, enter five into this field. Save the hub and then click on the list to view your hub. Highlight and copy the right API key and copy this into the server configuration page on the hub. This key should be kept confidential. If it is ever compromised, you should create a new key. Press the apply button and your hub is now fully configured.
Thanks for watching. Check out other cool videos and products at Vegetronics.com.